All right, it's engine night, and Mike's here. And uh, I'm gonna work on the overhead valve. Yeah, we're 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 just tossing around ideas on uh, how to mount the carburetor. Yeah, we're gonna go in a different direction, I think, than we originally were playing it, huh? Yeah. The first, turn around, Mike. Originally, we're gonna take uh, the carburetor right here and. Uh, Put a pipe, have a pipe come out. Yeah, mount it down low. Mount here. it down low. Almost like a, you know, like an F series engine would be. Right, but it would have been so many. It would have been two tight turns, two tight bends, and uh, I don't even think we could do it. Matter of fact, I even bought thinner tube, mm -hmm. and I still don't think we could do it. But uh, we we had an idea, and we we're thinking maybe just mounting it directly up. Yeah, you know, using that tube as kind of a connector and mounting it up here or off to the side, something like that. We're not quite sure yet. I kind of like I kind of like having it upright like that, and then we can make a little air filter for mm -hmm. it or something like That'd that. Cool. You know, so mm -hmm. we only have a we, we still only have a slight bend because the the intake, uh, well, the air intake where the choke would be, and then the the feed to this to the engine. It's not a not a right angle, so there's going right. to be some bend there to make this stand upright, stand but not uh, not a significant bend. Yeah, it's and, an odd shaped carburetor. It is right. That's off a Y, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So, so to hold that in, we're going to take the head off, and, and Mike wants to put a, a set screw in from the bottom. Yeah, a set screw in to hold the, the pipe, because the pipe, the tube is a slip fit in here. So we can put a little bit of sealer on there to actually make it a you know an airtight seal, but to keep it from vibrating and rotating, a little set screw in there will we'll do the job. Hmm. So, and then we'll probably, what we'll do here is probably, you know, make a slit, a cut in this part, and then make a clamp to clamp the pot metal onto the tube so that that stays solid as well so yeah that's the mm. plan i don't know about that mike pot metal yeah we'll glue it we'll epoxy because eh. <laughs> you know what happens when i start clamping pot metal <laughs> all right yeah we got the the wheels painted up and they're all ready to go so uh, we could probably put the crank in there huh mike yeah i i want to i want to get the piston the crank and uh the, the base on so that we mm. can well, we'll probably have to uh, put a little piece of wood underneath of it, too, because I think right. even with the oil base on, the, the wheels the are going to hit. And then we can concentrate on how we're going to mount the carburetor. That yeah. way all the internals of the engine will be done. Okay. That's what I want to do. We'll get us a rolling chassis. Yeah, that's it. All right. We'll get back to you guys when uh, we start doing a little work. All right. You've yeah, been dicking around with it a little bit. Mostly cleaning. I didn't, I didn't realize uh, that piston never been cleaned, or else I would have had that ready to go. But it's sitting around for two years. I know, <laughs> I know. It's not like I didn't have enough time. Yeah. So we had to clean out the carbon, uh, clean the piston, clean everything else out, and uh, the piston oh. itself is a little bit rough. Um, it's got these two, two big scores in it. So I, I filed mm -hmm. those down. So now all that scratching is below the the outer uh, diameter. With mm -hmm. the piston so it looks rough but for this purpose it's going to work yeah. just fine so and, and the ring grooves and everything were fine so yeah the ring grooves are fine we clean them up the rings feel okay the, the rings may feel a little bit weak but again there's no reason to, to go crazy on this one yeah well we got the crank in yep and uh everything there is hooked up so uh all right we're back ready to go yep let's see just about ready to put it on in there So, well, these little brake rings are so easy. Hey, you're not this to one, assume. not this one, though. <laughs> There you go. Second ring and top compression ring. There, there we go. All right. Oh. What? No. Put a little bit of oil on that journal. Oh, look at that. We didn't like it had eyes. Yep. So we got that. Make a little T 
tick mark right there for the cap to line up to. And then where's our wheel slinger at? It's sitting right here. Oh, there it is. Thank you. It'll all wrap like Christmas present. <laughs> Sixteenths on a ratchet for this. All right. All right. See how Mike's doing here. Get the the head back on. The rocker's back on. Yeah. And I I installed the breather. It looks like an oiler, but we just we just put it on there for looks. Put your thumb up there, Mike. Show how tiny that is. Look. Yeah. It's, it's uh, a little itty bitty. Tiny little thing. Yeah. And we just put it there because uh, we need a breather in there. And we thought that would look good. But uh, Mike is putting this together. We're going to have to take it apart again because we want to put a set screw to hold the carburetor. But Mike wants to see if we got uh, good compression and stuff. Yeah. If Going to put the flywheels on. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put the, yeah, at least one flywheel on so I can give it a good spin. And uh, we'll set the spark plug. I think the, the valves feel that they're about right. I think you set them. Wow. It feels like it's got good compression. I think this <laughs> one... This one could use a little bit more clearance. It's there, but maybe a little bit more. Oh well. So we'll set it up. We'll set it up, and uh, we ain't gonna get it running tonight. But at least we'll uh, right. We'll have a rolling chassis there. That's the important thing. Oh yeah, look who showed up, Daddy and Junior. Engine night. Engine night in the Road King garage. Just checking for compression now. How the valves look to you? Might have to adjust them. Well, I think the one needs a little bit of adjustment. The compression feels pretty good. Even with all that weight, we still got a bit of bounce back, which is good. So, yeah. I feel like I'm just feeling around the gasket for leaks. Feeling the intake and the exhaust ports when it's on the compression stroke to feel if I to see if I feel any anything coming back backwards mm -hmm. out of the valve. He's just got both of them wheels sitting on there. That's why this one here looks a little wobbly. Yeah, the key's not driven. Yeah, it's not really. So. Plus, it's missing a spacer on the lobe. I think we might need to. I need to lap the exhaust a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that valves could use a little lapping, and that should be good. Hmm. That's that's pretty respectable. Especially considering it's got all this mass that it's got to bounce right. back against. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Me too. All right, let's play around with the carb, see if we can figure something out there. All right. Mike's over here lapping the valves on the head. Yeah, just finished up, actually. Oh, yeah? Yep. That's good. I'm surprised you had that much compression if you never lapped them. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, it, uh... Well, I did. I mean, they were ground. The seats were ground, and the, lap, mm -hmm. the valves were ground, but they they were never actually lapped. So, yeah, it did pretty good. There were still some, you know. Some yeah, you know the valve there. cutter I got. The instructions actually say you you really don't have to lap them. I guess they seat themselves sorta. Of. Yeah, yeah. Well, but we didn't uh, use that. Right. It wouldn't fit in here. Right. We used a. Uh, it was a carbide. A um, well, we we cut them with a carbide cutter, and then. Uh, well, we, these didn't actually get ground. The valves got ground, but the seats didn't get ground. They were just raw, right. machined. So there was some some tool marks on that. So, but now it's nice. Good now surface. it's good to go. Yeah. So. All right. 
put the valves back in and gonna check uh, see what kind of compression it has now yeah we should be a bit better shouldn't hear any more any hissing out of the uh, out of the valves out of the ports so That was quite a bit of workmanship there. Let me see that, Mike. Let me show that. Mike made this head himself on his uh, lathe when he uh, used to live in uh, the other place. He was all set up. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful piece of machinery there, buddy. Thank you. Made the bushings here and the valve seats. Yeah, yeah, the, that's um, bearing bronze. And yeah, we had to buy a couple new tools, but uh, it was worth it. Had to put the, the intake hole in there and the exhaust over here and yeah. tap it. And well, yeah, the exhaust port, the spark plug the hole, spark yet, plug hole, and they're on the angle. So, yeah, it was um, it was more than I'm used to doing. Used to just making simple parts. That's a fairly complex part for me. So and a little release here for the valves or mm -hmm. push rods. I did that by hand. Yeah, they sit right on in here like that. Give just enough clearance. Good. Yeah, that was a piece of art there, buddy. All right, Mike just threw a wheel on there. Oops. See how it is. Yeah, I just want to lubricate the the guides real quick. Sounds better already. Just that one turn. Yeah, well, that hissing you're hearing is coming from that uh, this guy right, right. here. Right. That's the crankcase uh, ventilation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. PVC, PCV. Yeah. Positive current PCV. Tap that in. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's. I mean, we only have one wheel on, but. Yeah. I don't hear anything now. Oh yeah. Look at that compression. Maybe a maybe a little bit out of the exhaust, but. Once it runs, it'll, it'll yeah. they'll seat in. But that's 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 just like a normal Briggs engine. There, yeah, right. So. Hmm. Huh? Okay. I'm that's actually better that. than a normal Briggs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy that's with crazy. That. Yeah, I'm happy with that too. Yeah, we got a lot done. That uh, clean that piston up and uh, seating the valve slowed us up a little bit, but mm -hmm. we got enough done. I think so. I think next week probably maybe yeah we'll get it run next week. Yeah, well, the ignition is done, right? We made the cam for that. We just have to make the mount for the oh, contact yeah. switch. That's right. No, we, so. That's a lot. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well, then a couple weeks we should have it running. Yeah, we're getting close. All right. Well, I think that's enough for now, Mike. It's getting late. Mm -hmm. I know you got to get up early. All right. All right. We'll see you guys uh, on the next one. All right. Enough of this.